Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and welcome to this special edition of Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. The Sentinel 5P satellite has now been fueled ahead of its October 13th launch from Plitsk in northern Russia. Preparations are now underway to install it in the rocket fairing. Sentinel 5P carries a spectrometer called Tropomi that will map the global atmosphere every day. A while back, my colleague Mali Cherchere met up with the Sentinel 5P engineering manager to discuss the challenges in building a satellite to accommodate the Tropomi instrument. Let's take a look. Hello, I'm Mali Chachara for ESA Web TV, and today I am at Airbus Defence and Space in Stevenage, UK, and just behind us is the Sentinel 5P satellite, Sentinel 5 precursor, in the clean room just behind these windows here. And today I am with the engineering manager of Airbus Defence and Space, Jonathan Banting. Jonathan, could you please explain just what building this sort of satellite entails? Well, what we have here is a satellite that is based on a product which is usually used for very high resolution um, instruments, taking pictures of the land. But we had to adapt it for Tropomi. This meant looking at what Tropomi needed, what power did it need, how heavy was it going to be. And this then meant we had to identify the changes. So we made the spacecraft much stronger. The top floor is now much thicker if you look at it. And also we had to make the solar rays bigger because Tropomi is operating all the time, drawing much more power. So that was the main challenges we had. So, in your opinion, what makes Sentinel 5P so unique? I think one thing was the speed at which we built it. As people have said, we kicked off in 2011, and by two years ago we had completed the satellite, the instrument was on top, and we put it through its environmental test. So this is very fast by any, any standard, so this was a challenge. And building it for a low cost as well. It's a low cost program, and this meant reusing key components to avoid all of the recurring um, activities that have to be done on, uh, on new equipments. Tropomi is the most advanced multispectral imaging spectrometer to date and was developed jointly by ESA and the Netherlands Space Office. This approach is very obvious uh, for us because we have some priorities in the Netherlands. One of them is optic instruments and before we built uh, together with Germany this Ki Yamaha uh, instrument uh, which flew on uh, Envisat. We've built the ozone monitoring instrument which is flying at the moment still on the EOS Aura uh, mission. And Tropomi is the next generation so it's very obvious that we do it in the Netherlands. Okay and lastly what are the main expectations you have for the Netherlands and for Europe from this engagement? Not only for the Netherlands but the expectations are that we have a next step in, in measuring uh, climate causes again so that we can see where they come from what they do and all on a very specific detailed level so it's the next step in a line which is already for more than 10 years operating okay well thank you very much Nico and from Stevenage Airbus and Space Center in the UK I'm Mali Chacher for ESA Web TV thank you for joining us and have a very pleasant day